In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Uh, my dear staff, my, my team leaders, uh, servant Jesus, do you know somebody who has a, was born with a physical defect? Or maybe you even have something you were born with uh, that was not supposed to be that way. Uh, why don't you pause uh, the video right now and just take a, a chance to talk about people you know that have physical defects. Thanks for coming back. I mean, I think as a pastor, I've met a lot of different people, but you often don't notice that people have something where maybe there's a, they have some webbed feet, maybe they have something wrong with their ear, or maybe they've had surgery to fix something. But birth defects happen a lot, and one of the saddest birth defects is that sometimes children don't even make it to birth, right? That's really sad. We think of people that are born with strong birth defects, our hearts can go out to them. You, you love kids, so you probably think about young kids who are missing a limb or have something happen. Uh, this week, we see that Jesus has a bigger heart than you and me. He loves absolutely everybody, and he seems to have a special heart for the people that are in a, in a difficult predicament. Um, and it's not because they sinned or someone else sins or they have more guilt. Jesus crosses that out, but he does say that he even uses all those defects. The problems in the sinful world that Adam and Eve brought into this world, Jesus will fix them. He'll fix them all in eternity, and we can love, we can love them and make, make sure to include them and go out of our way to serve them, to show the love of Jesus, because we know in heaven all that will be fixed. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless us with a heart like yours, loving people that are in difficult situations. We pray for everybody we know uh, that uh, has a physical defect, whether it's one they were born with or in one way that their body doesn't work well now. They have a hard time getting around or need a wheelchair or whatever the situation might be. We pray for you to watch over them and let your gospel message be with them that they know that in eternity everything will be fixed because of what Jesus Christ has done. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Have a blessed week.